In this video, we're going to have a look at a theoretical probability calculation. A theoretical probability is the probability of an event based on possible favorable outcomes and the total number of possible outcomes. So it's not based on the actual experiment occurring, but based on the possible outcomes that could occur. And to calculate this probability, the probability of the event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So let's have a look at an example of how do we calculate theoretical probability. So in this example, a six-sided dice is rolled. We want to list the sample space, then determine the probability of obtaining a four, of obtaining an odd number, or obtaining a number of five or less. So to answer the first question, the sample space is going to either be a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So every time I roll that six-sided dice, I have to get a number between 1 and 6. So now let's have a look at part B where I'm calculating some of the probability. And the first calculation I'm going to do is the probability of getting a 4. And the first step is to write down the formula. So the formula I'm going to use is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So to work out the number of favorable outcomes, I need to refer back to my sample space and work out how many of those results are going to give me an outcome of four. So from a sample space of one, two, three, four, five, and six, only one of those results in me receiving a four. So the number of favorable outcomes is one, and the number of total outcomes is six. So the probability of me rolling a 4 is 1 over 6. So next I want to have a look at the probability of rolling an odd number. So probability of odd number. And the first step I need to do is write down the formula. So the formula is number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So for this calculation, a favorable outcome is going to be an outcome that's an odd number. So going back and looking at my sample space, one is an odd number, so that's going to be a favorable outcome. Three is an odd number, so that's another favorable outcome. And five is an odd number, so that's another favorable outcome. So that's a total of three favorable outcomes. Two, four, and six are even numbers, so they are not included in my count of favorable outcomes. So going back to my formula, number of favorable outcomes is three divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which was six, which is equal to one over two. So the probability of me rolling an odd number is one over two. So looking at my last calculation I need to do, probability of rolling a five or less. So the probability of five or less. And the first thing I need to do is write down the formula. So the formula is number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So I need to go back to my sample space and work out how many is going to give me a number of five or less. So one is less than five, two is less than five, three is less than five, four is less than five, and five is five or less, so that is included as well. So counting up my possible outcomes, there is five possible favorable outcomes out of six possible outcomes. So the probability of rolling a five or less is equal to five out of six.